Hi everybody, this is James from Eating Our Asses Off. Today I am going to try to make a tamagoyaki. I probably said that wrong, but it's Japanese or essentially a rolled omelet. Um, and we'll see how it goes. All right. First thing we're gonna do is go through our ingredients. And here you can see I have four eggs. Liquid aminos to replace the soy sauce. Black peppers, peppercorn. <laughs> Some iodized salt, basic table salt. Crushed red pepper. And I don't show it on here, but I also get some erythritol, olive oil, and that's the basis of the ingredients. So first thing we're gonna do is add in two teaspoons of the erythritol. Here's your one, and then there's your two. Okay, there's your two. I got all those other seasonings, the red pepper flakes, pepper, and all that stuff already mixed in there, and salt. Just gonna add my soy sauce here, which is the liquid aminos. That way you don't have the carbs. And you'll see it's just that one teaspoon. And at that point, I'm gonna add a splash of olive oil. I did forget to mention that too. Olive oil is just gonna help it kind of fry up when I cook it. Now we're gonna simply stir it up for a while. I'm gonna fast forward through the stirring so you don't sit there and watch that. And there is the powerful part of editing. And now we're just gonna fry it up. Grease this real nice. I know it's a non-stick pan, but this thing still manages to stick if you're not careful. So I'm gonna grease up this pan with some olive oil up front. Got it nice and moist there. Throw in my eggs, and ideally I would have had extra eggs, but I should have done more than four, so that when I roll it, I actually have more liquids to place behind it, but that's all I end up using, and so this is almost a perfect rolled omelet, but because I didn't have quite enough, I did struggle a little bit with the um, getting the true adhesion you'd want in the omelet. So just spread it around and try to get every place covered. This thing here works best in some kind of square pan. Wish this one was smaller again, so you get more of a roll out of it, but did what she can with what I got. Now I'm just gonna let it fry up and cook. And bam, there it goes. I fast forward, of course. So now I'm gonna begin to roll it. In order to do that, I have to make sure all the edges are loose and free. And this is why, of course, you grease it so it doesn't stick at all to anywhere on the pan. So I'm just gonna go through and just check all the places, make sure it's nice and pliable and loose. I said that it cook longer. And now that I got all that done, I can start rolling it in a little bit. And again, if I had an extra egg after I rolled it, I could actually add more egg here and it would help it stick better, but it's literally just rolling an omelet at the moment at this point, so it's kind of a fail, but this is my first try. And there is my rolled omelet. Gonna simply try my best here to plate it in a second, and we'll see how that goes. That was not the plating, that was just me getting it off the camera so I can actually cut it up. <laughs> and here's my that's the template plating and just cut it to little pieces and toss it in there and you have a simple omelet rolled up. All right, have a nice day.